Uh, then we got MVP suddenly in the ring, and he says how effectively he's going to become a manager now, and he wants to manage Edge. Yeah, he's like a stable. And Edge comes down, full of piss and vinegar, really good selling of just fury, and, and calls out Randy Orton immediately. And MVP's like, all right, mate, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm over here. So Edge spears him. Where he said, yeah, how's your wife? Yeah, which was, this was good. Yeah, and so Edge just turns around, gives him this crazy spear, uh, and then Randy Orton just appears out of nowhere, and they start brawling, and Edge gives him the RKO and lays him out. That's pretty cool. Pretty bad RKO. Oh, I, I really like this. I, it was... I, th this bit was good. I, li I like that bit, because this has been the best storyline in the company. Yeah. It's up, it's apart, up apart there in Otis, the whole of Apart from Otis yeah. and Mandy. And uh, then he like so Randy Orton then bails, and... Uh, Edge goes out, gets two chairs, and gives MVP a couple of concertos. Mm. So you think they're going to set up a triple threat for WrestleMania? Mm, <laughs> yeah, that's what everyone wants to see. <laughs> Is MVP involved? I... Do you not like this? I thought it was de definitely the weakest segment of this excellent feud. Yeah, okay. But I loved everything Randy did. Him at the top of the ramp, yeah, the watching on, yep. as because yep, as Ed, Edge sort of like MVP down here. This is what I'm going to do to you, buff, buff, buff. But I thought where the fun of everything else has come from complexity and subtlety, this was. I just, I, you know, MVP didn't work in this segment for me. He, well, he needed to be there so that Edge could do something to someone. Well, I, I. I so, just don't think, I, I get what you're saying. There must be a version of this segment, Edge's return. That I, I don't think it emotionally connected with the crowd as well. They started chanting one more time. I feel a bit, I know you felt kind of jokingly weird about the spider being yeah. killed by Drew. I wasn't, I, I didn't enjoy MVP being hit with a second concerto. Edge has just been written off for five weeks because of this, um, and now he does it to a dude who was behind him. Matt Hardy's been effectively killed by him. Exactly. Twice. Lake of reincarnation. So I, 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 yeah. I wasn't that hot on this. I, there's one way that this easily could have been improved. Absolutely one way that this could have easily been improved. You don't pre-announce it. Yes. Don't spend the whole show being like, Edge is coming back, Edge is coming back. You announce on social media, Edge is coming back, Edge mm. is coming back. You have his return, the first time you've seen him since the post-Rumble show, as a surprise, because that crowd wouldn't have been expecting it. Yeah. And the crowd would have popped massively as soon as you think you know me kicks in. The same way that when American Badass, like when Limp Bizkit came out, people were like, oh my God, Fred Durst is here. Um, they would have gone absolutely nuts for it. And I don't feel we got that pure, pure moment because WWE said, by the way, Edge is going to be on this show. And then spent the first two hours of the show being like, guess who's coming up next? Guess who's coming next? I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's an easy fix. Uh, I, I still think the MVP stuff was problematic, but the rest of it would have been so awesome, yeah. it kind of overshadows it. And I've got to say as well that I'm going to give them credits here because <laughs> at least this felt like a consistent bit of character work. Like, Edge didn't come out for a promo. He didn't come out to be like, I want to address Randy on a face. I, he's like, no, I want to kill this dude. This dude tried to kill, end my career. He attacked my wife last week. I really, really want to hurt this man now. This felt like an actual blood feud that was boiling over. And so at least we got that from Edge as opposed to him coming out and being like, by the way, I'm back now. Yeah, you're right on that one. And Randy's selling of it on yeah. the ramp where it's kind of, he's got this face of, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for you. It was great. Also, Edge used uh, Jake Hager's cuddle yeah, submission I was on MVP. Say, yeah, stop that now. <laughs> it sucks when Hager does it. I, Edge does not need a submission move. <laughs> you've already got, you've got the spear, he's mate. Got, he's got a submission move. He had the, uh, the Edgecator or whatever it was. Like he that. had lots of like Edge-based puns. Um, but yeah, you've got the spear. The spear's over. Like you don't need to start introducing a head and arm choke. Everyone's got a spear these days. <laughs> That'll be the new super kick before yeah. the decade's out. Thank you.